define the condition that can lead to an accident while working with portable electrical equipment? These condition has potential to result in an accident. Using unsuitable equipment have risk of accident due to contact with the body. Using in wet, damp, or humid conditions will increase the conductivity of the electricity and can increase severity and likelihood of accident. Misuse of equipment endangers the life of worker due to overheating and fatigue of equipment. Physical abuse such as driving over a cable will damage the equipment and it will increase the chance of electrical shock. Repairs carried out improperly will increase the risk of shock. Continued use of faulty, defective equipment are having high risk due to fault current. Chemical slash abrasion damage to the power cord. Physical damage due to hostile environments. Lack of inspection testing or maintenance will leave the equipment with defects that can increase the risk of injury. Suggest controls to reduce the risk of injury when using drills. Apply these controls while using power electrical drills. Operator training, tool maintained and inspected including pad testing, use of reduced voltage or battery drill, guards, cable detection, PPE for noise and dust, job rotation to reduce vibration and noise exposure. What is an emergency stop? Where should emergency stop controls be located? Emergency stop is a control that bring the equipment to a safe stop as quickly as possible. Emergency stops can be buttons or pull cords and should be positioned on or by the equipment, within easy reach of operators. For large machines this means that several emergency stop buttons may be fitted at various locations around the machine. Identify what are basic features of guard. Machine guard shall have following feature. Compatibility with the process, adequate strength, well maintained, not rough or sharp, allow maintenance without removal, doesn't increase overall risk doesn't restrict operator's view, not easily bypassed. Identify mechanical and non-mechanical hazard arising from use of working equipment. Mechanical hazard. Crushing, shearing, cutting, or severing, entanglement, drawing in or trapping, impact, stabbing or puncture, friction or abrasion, high pressure fluid injection, non-mechanical hazards, Electricity, noise, vibration, hazardous substances, ionizing radiation, non-ionizing radiation, extreme temperatures, ergonomics, slips, trips and falls, fire and explosion. Identify factors to be considered by user before using the working equipment. Users of work equipment should only operate equipment they are authorized to use, follow instruction and training, only use equipment for its intended purpose, carry out safety checks before use, not use equipment if it is unsafe, report defects immediately, not use equipment under the influence of drugs or alcohol, keep equipment clean and in safe order. Identify the risks posed to the maintenance workers during maintenance of equipment. Worker may be exposed to following risks. Guards and enclosures removed, safety devices removed or disabled, power sources exposed, residue or stored electrical or mechanical or other energies, access awkward, manual handling of heavy parts, Additional hazards for example use of power tools, confined spaces, poor lighting, slip trip, and fall, may be fall from height. List down the types of guards that can be used for machinery, in addition to guards, identify additional devices available for protection of workers. Type of guards, fixed guards, interlocked guards, adjustable slash self-adjusting guards. Trip device, protective devices, two-handed controls, protective appliances, emergency stop controls, 
personal protective equipment, information, instruction, training, and supervision. Thank you.